Have you ever had your washing machine break on you during a load or your fridge give out when you just bought new groceries? Well, recently, fixing these appliances has become harder as manufacturers keep their manuals behind closed doors. Cronkite News reporter, reporter Atria Maneshni joins us now to explain a legislative movement known as the Right to Repair. Right to Repair is legislation that would allow you and I to fix our broken appliances ourselves. I talked to a local homeowner who recently tried to fix some appliances in his home, and it didn't go as planned. Reza Sharifi fixes things around his house all the time, but he ran into trouble recently. This past month, I had to fix two things. One was a garage door opener, and one was a uh, clothes washer that, uh, you know, the uh, safety switch was, wasn't working. I could not find the manuals for them from the uh, manufacturer's website. He even tried to use YouTube video tutorials to fix the broken appliances himself. It didn't get him far. You really have to look a lot to find something that works for you. Right to repair laws could help. These laws would require manufacturers to provide both consumers and repair shops with instruction manuals and parts to fix appliances. According to one advocacy group, Arizona is one of a handful of states that doesn't have right to repair legislation passed or introduced. But the Public Interest Research Group, or PERG, is pushing for nationwide support for these laws. We went to 50 companies and asked, picked a random popular product, you know, from the first search of that company name and ask for the repair guide. 86% of those companies either didn't respond or said we don't have that available. Some of them explicitly said, we do not recommend user repair, so we do not make those materials available. Not only do these limitations hurt the consumer, but it also affects repair shops. We go out there, we're not rocket scientists, we, we, <laughs> we fix things, but access to information for us is also vital to make sure we get things re repaired correctly instead of just guessing on stuff. Also, replacing appliances instead of repairing could damage the environment. We are consuming stuff way too fast. It is dooming future generations. Right to Repair is here to make sure people like Shadi Fee save money and gain new skills. There's a joy in really learning and again fixing something that you don't have to pay for fixing it. Currently, only three states have Right to Repair laws and at least 20 states have filed Right to Repair bills. In the newsroom, Atria Maneshni, Cronkite News.